obviously competing in the Olympics was by far the most special game I've ever played in. Not many people get to do it, but two jumbo shrimp players got to play in the Olympics. Eddie Alvarez for the team USA and Jake Fishman for team Israel. They went from teammates to opponents all at the same time. It's a very confusing moment for me. Welcome back to Action Sports Jacks primetime everybody. Olivia Tassley here. Before Fishman made it to the Olympics, he had quite the underdog story. Undrafted out of high school, he attended Division Three Union College in New York, and after three years at the collegiate level, he became the first baseball player to be drafted by the MLB in school history. He was selected in the 30th round of the 2016 draft by the Toronto Blue Jays. Fishman then kept the accolades going. He got an opportunity of a lifetime, getting a call from the coach of Team Israel to be a reserve pitcher. Now that means if someone gets hurt or backs out, Fishman would be called up to join the team. And that call was eventually made. And Fishman joined the team on their journey to the 2020 Olympic Games. Now we all know COVID hit and as a result, the games were postponed. But in the downtime, next to training, of course, Fishman decided to pick up his other passion from pitching to programming. I've always been a person that people have come to for technology problems. You see him on the mound as one of Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp's pitchers. Check swing bouncer right of the mound. Nice job by Fishman, tumbling stab. But once the glove comes off, Jake Fishman's computers turn on. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jake. When I was in college, I took a few programming classes and I'd always had this idea for an app on the Mac. I wanted an audio visualizer on the touch bar on a MacBook Pro. And I remember looking four years ago or six years ago and nobody had done it yet. Um, and then quarantine hit and I was like, oh, I gotta check again. Nobody had done it yet. And that's where I was like, we got all this time. I gotta sit down and, and try and do this thing. How is that app coming on for you? Uh, it's great, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, last year we grossed uh, about $10,000 on it. so. Mm -hmm. I'm ecstatic about that. Soon after the app, one side hustle led to another. Today, we're going to be going over some nice MacBook Pro tips and tricks. I started making videos um, just kind of helping people solve common problems that they have on their computers. and. It snowballed into a YouTube channel where people started subscribing and coming back and asking questions. So um, it just kind of spiraled into a kind of another side hustle hobby that I have. But even with his success, Fishman continues to go after the dream. Plan A is always baseball, uh, but it's amazing to be able to supplement my income. Uh, with these other projects. On the outside looking in, we may think Fishman's projects seem to be completely out of left field. But for Fishman, they're actually in a pretty similar ballpark. 100%. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's very similar to baseball in that it's a long-term process mm -hmm. and you have to be consistent over a long period of time for it to be successful. Uh, and it's the same thing with baseball. While subscribers continue to dial into Fishman's YouTube channel, Fishman is hoping one day the MLB dials his number for the dream phone call of every minor league player. Always cool to get to know the athletes behind their sport, including their nickname. A really cool off-camera moment. Fishman and I talking about his nickname. Fishman gaining one this year while in the bullpen. Teammates? Fittingly call him the IT guy after they all sat in the bullpen together and Fishman was doing a lot of weird stuff with the iPad trying to go over all their plays and data. Action Sports Jacks Primetime, Saturday at 10.30 on Fox 30.